are in the home stretch. So now it's just focusing on getting the final binding done, inserting the journal itself. Um, you'll see here I just struggled a little bit with just trying to figure out how to put this in. So at first I was seeing if I could just glue the uh, first pages, the cover of the insert to the front cover and to the back cover to see how far it was off. And you'll see here I've taken the measurement of that and I am um, going to be cutting down some of this watercolor paper. Wish it lasted forever But it faded away I was wrong You were right We couldn't stand tall Now, because the journal, when I opened it and closed it, um, as I set it inside the covers, because it shifted, I knew immediately that I needed to make pockets for this so that it can shimmy and not fall out. So I knew I needed to adhere some kind of insert for it to go into. So I decided to use the watercolor paper. Um, I cut two pieces that were similar in size and then you'll see I'm sewing them together here. Um, and then I'm going to adhere one panel to the covers of the insert and the, the flaps are then what can be inserted into a pocket and that'll be explained as you as you watch further um, but that is the way that I decided to solve the shimmy part that was happening um, I didn't want to adhere it down and then have something wrinkle because it it wasn't able to shimmy it was being held in a, a spot that it didn't want to Really, that is what I enjoy most about binding my art journals myself, is that I get to create the way that I want to by just being drawn into whatever substrate I'm presented with and worrying about the binding later because it always is like a challenge and um, overcoming that challenge with something that will... Um, be pleasing to the person that's reading through it or looking through it um, and hold up to the test of time you know all the things that you want for a finished piece that it will eventually be sold um, yeah so that's my favorite part is trying to figure those little nuances out about each piece the sun sits in Boston, kissing yellow all right, well, I have gotten that all glued down, um, and now I've got my trusty um, clothespins out and am adhering that front part of the uh, journal insert to what will be 
the new front cover of the journal insert. Um, I want to make sure that's very well lined up and that the sewn seam uh, meets at the center of the journal, the original journal insert. So uh, that is quite the task. And then I will do the same thing for that back, uh, the new back cover for the journal insert. Still I think about you often Cause ever since you've been gone I've been staring at the sunset The sunsets of Boston Well, that took every last clothespin I had, but both are dry now. And so I'm gonna pull that out and see how it looks inside the final cover. And now I'm going to create the pockets for that sewn flap, um, the wings, if you will, um, can slide into. And these will be adhered to the front and back cover of the binding.
All right, so I feel like the, the primary big portion of this video is me putting on clothespins and taking them off. So now that I've got those pockets glued, I have to decipher how much I need to cut off the flaps, the wings of the insert. I knew that they would probably be too long, but I didn't want to cut it off before having the pockets there to measure it with. So that's what I'm taking care of now. Sunsets in Boston Kissing yellow concrete We watched all of them together Until we couldn't go to sleep Wish it lasted forever But it faded 